Welcome to the Church of the Nazarene Global Ministry Center located in Lenexa, Kansas. My name is Bill Sawyer. I'm the Chief Administrative Officer and a member of the Senior Leadership Team for the General Church. I'm standing here in the lobby of the GMC, and one of my favorite places in this center is the Prayer Chapel of the Nations. Why don't we take a walk around and sit down in the Prayer Chapel, and I'd like to tell you a little bit about the ministries of the GMC. A number of years ago, when the General Church decided to relocate the headquarters to Lenexa, one of the things that uh, they did so very well was when they constructed the facility is that they ensured that they didn't use world evangelism giving to fund uh, the building of this this beautiful complex. Just recently, we were able to establish a quasi-endowment fund so that now all the building operations and upkeep and maintenance, which is really significant, is no longer funded through World Evangelism Giving, but through the endowment. And that allows us to take that very significant savings and deploy it directly into reaching uh, lives with the good news of the sanctifying and saving grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. One of the many initiatives that we've worked on over the last few years has been the Wesleyan Holiness Digital Library, one of the largest resource centers, online resource centers, uh, in the world. We've also developed the Genexus system, which is an online student platform system that's already deployed in 17 of our global schools and in nine indigenous languages. It's making a difference and making Christ-like disciples in the nations as we use this system to bring glory and honor to Jesus' name. In 2019, we worked with our global missions group to re-articulate and provide resources for the missionary endeavor to take scriptural holiness into the nations to where the church is not yet. And in 2021, we developed resources in many languages that will support the work of the church and the biblical framework of understanding evangelism and discipleship. The Journey of Grace articulates our understanding that God is working in the lives of unbelievers to draw him to himself. And when we share the message of scriptural holiness, they come to a crisis point in their lives where they have to make a decision to follow Christ or not. And we're praying and believing that God is going to help us share the gospel in the nations in even greater ways than we've ever done before so that they might understand and experience the saving grace of our Lord Jesus Christ that justifies freely and initially sanctifies us from acts that lead to death to serve the living God. We continue on in that journey of grace to a second crisis experience that the Holy Spirit helps us with, and that is that Jesus Christ himself takes the consecrated believer and baptizes them with the Holy Spirit, sanctifying them through and through, spirit, soul, and body, preserved blameless until the day of Christ. And he helps us grow in knowledge and understanding along that journey of grace until we come to the full measure of the stature of Christ. Well, those are some of the things that we've been doing over the last few years. But one of my favorite things that we continue to do every week is on Tuesday morning, we gather here in the prayer chapel of the nations and we pray for you and for our local churches and the missionary endeavor of the Church of the Nazarene. And as we've been praying, I've been reminded that God is moving by his spirit and he's moving in all the earth. And as we've prayed, he's brought to mind some very great, precious promises that we all treasure. This is my prayer for you, that your love would abound more and more in knowledge and depth of insight so that you may be able to discern what is best and may be pure and blameless until the day of Christ, filled to the measure of all the fullness of Jesus Christ. And you shall eat in plenty and be satisfied and praise 
the name of the Lord your God, who has dealt wondrously with you. And my people shall never be put to shame. Then you shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and I am the Lord your God, and there is no other. My people shall never be put to shame. And it will come to pass afterwards, I will pour out my spirit on all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, your old men shall dream dreams, and your young men shall see visions, and on my men servants and on my maid servants will I pour out my spirit in those days. Everything that we do at the Global Ministry Center is focused on what's happening in the world out there providing resources because we want to see a movement of God among the people of God so that the holiness message might sound forth. Lives would be truly transformed and made in the image of Christ. May the love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, and grace upon grace upon grace be with us all as we endeavor to join the movement of God among the people of God in the Church of the Nazarene. Be blessed and have a great day.